Hiya, we are doing a stretch Pilates today. Um, so we don't need any equipment. All you need is your mats and we're gonna come start in a standing position at the back of your mats. I'm just gonna take some water. Let's do this. Okay, we are going to be here. You may have my head slightly chopped off, but I think you can see me in the reflection. So you've got a different angle here to be able to look at what I'm doing. So I'm gonna stand with my feet sitting right underneath my knees and my hips. I'm gonna roll my shoulders to stand tall and I'm gonna close my eyes and just feel my, where my weight is going, one side or the other side, just finding that nice kind of stability, that stance. And then I'm gonna inhale, lower my chin down towards my chest and just enjoy that little stretch with the back of my neck. I'm gonna let my shoulders drop to the floor, beginning to softly drop through that upper back keeping my chin tucked, so I'm going to pause here. I'm going to draw my chin towards my right armpit, pause for a breath and then roll through to center, staying low over to my left armpit. And then I'm going to roll down through to the center, pause there, and then lift my chin back up. I'm going to gently drop my head back, not too far, keeping my jaw closed and finding a stretch down the throat area. And then roll your head all the way down and all the way around. Just do a few times in one direction. I've got lots of crunchy clicking going on. And then I'm going to roll the other way. Keeping those shoulders pushed down. One more roll. Just loosening up all those little muscles and tendons. Back to the center, let your head sit on top of your shoulders. Soften the knees, tuck your tailbone, squeeze the lower belly. And then gently roll down, put the chin to the chest and roll down towards the toes. Just very slowly let your body roll. Just going to close my, something that's come off my computer, all the way down. And then bend those knees as much as you need to, to allow your fingertips to gently come to the floor. So I'm going to take my hands a little bit further forward, lean forward slightly, and then bend and extend my legs, pressing one side to the other. Just enjoying swaying my hips. And I've still got my eyes closed. That's quite nice. Just find your center balance when you come back to the middle, keeping your eyes closed, pushing the backs of the knees away, diving your head and chest a little bit lower down. And then inhale, lift and look up, come up onto your fingertips. So my knees are still slightly soft. I'm extending and lengthening the spine. I'm going to take a walk forward, four big paces, and then rock my body forward into a plank. Now I'm going to pause here and take a couple of breaths. Lengthening out through the body, squeezing the belly, extending through the knees. Now watch this, slowly, come with me. Inhale, lift your hips back up. So I'm lengthening out through my arms, spine and legs. I'm going to walk my hands a tiny bit further in, push my heels to the floor. My right hand is going to reach to my left ankle. And then I'm going to return the hand as I rock my body weight forward into a plank. Pause. And then lift all the way back up, reaching my left hand to my right hand. Then inhale forward, float the body into plank, options to drop to your knees if you need to. Then lift your knees back up, lift your hips. Downward facing dog, reaching as far as you can to that ankle. Returning the hand and dropping your hips. Now, I've got quite long arms, so I can do this exercise keeping one hand on the floor where it is, reaching the other one, returning that hand and coming forward. If you're struggling to reach the foot, then you can lift your hips, hands walk in a little bit, then reach, then walk your hands back a little bit and drop down to a plank. But that does depend on your flexibility as well. So you don't have to reach. I'm not quite reaching my right ankle, but I'm feeling that stretch and that, that kind of like forceful, Forcefulness through that elongation of the body. Reaching. 
coming forward and this really warms your body up squeeze the buttocks lift up one more time reaching to that right side then come forward into a plank pause in your plank rock forward on the tips of your toes now my shoulders are active because they come over my wrists i'm scooping my belly in and then i'm pushing back into my heels holding there just for another five four three two and one drop the knees front of the feet to the ground slide back into child's pose so that's quite strong in my wrist so i'm just going to turn my hands i'm going to do a little stretch here whilst pushing my bottom down into my heels and just take a few breaths get into that blood stage breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth just going to take myself off it's getting warm already And then turn the hands back, sink down, stretch the arm forward, feel the sides of your back stretching out. And then lift your hips up and bring yourself onto your hands and knees into a nice flat back position. So we're going to inhale, slide your left leg, right arm forward. We're going to exhale, scoop it under, scoop the belly in, chin tucked, tailbone tucked. Then we reach again on the inhale. And then we curl again on the exhale. So this is about core balance. Um, if you're really struggling with the balance, tuck your toes under on that right foot. Gives you a little bit more stability. If that still doesn't work for you, then drop the hand, curl the knee in, and kick the leg away, inhaling. And then perhaps you can swap, reach the arm, scoop up through the belly, pull the elbow in towards the navel. And lengthen away the arms so you can alternate. Yeah. Otherwise, let's do four more. Reach. Exhale. Curl it in. Inhale. Reach away. Exhale. Curl it in. Inhale. Reach. We're going to do one more. Reach. 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 Curl it under. Pause here, scoop in, scoop in, scoop in. Inhale to pause, exhale, lengthen away, and pause. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and drop it down. Drop down to your elbows, take the pressure off the wrist, and take a little cat stretch here. Scooping the belly in, tailbone under, chin tucked, lengthen out through that thigh. And then gently undulate, lift the bottom, lift your eye gaze, lift your head slightly. Pull your shoulder blades back and down. Take a deep breath. Now we're going to take our right arm out to the side, slide our right leg back and up. And then you're going to find your stability. So we're working on that right side. We're going to tap the foot down, lift the leg up, swing it all the way around, tap it out to the side. Lift it all the way up, tap it around behind for one. Tap it all the way around for two. And breathe up, round and three. So now we are working on hip mobilization. Again, that core stability still, four. Swing it all the way around. Now this is too much for your range. If you're really struggling to get that leg all the way up and around, then please bend the knee Lift it up, circle it around, swoop it down, lift it back up, swoop it around and drop it down. Allow lots of movement through your hips for this, but keep your core engaged so you've got that absolute stability. So we're going to do four more. Come on, work it. Feel that left buttock, that stabilizing leg, doing lots of work. Up and around for three. Two more, lift. Squeeze, drop, lovely, one more. Lift up, turn around, drop it to the ground. Find your breath, lift that leg up and pulse it for 10, nine. Get it as high as you can go, seven, six, five. Lift it up, last three, two, and one, and drop it down. So I've dropped my foot firmly into the floor. I'm going to take my left knee a little bit further out to the side. I'm going to take my right leg a little bit further away. 
down into my elbows, lengthening out my spine, and then pushing my hips back and down. So both of my legs are quite wide here, okay? My foot on my left side is turned out. You see the reflection in the mirror. And I'm pushing down to the outside of my right foot and I'm pushing my hips back, feeling that stretch in the groin, inner thigh. And just, you know, good 20 to 30 seconds just holding this here. Just keep pushing back, pushing lower, work with it, bear with it and breathe through it and relax those shoulders. One more breath, deepen it on the exhale. Then bring yourself up onto your hands and slide that leg back in. Take a little ball through the body, hands down by your side, grab your heels and just curl yourself into a ball. Or if that's not for you, just come down to here and just curl the spine. We roll up, we're gonna stay on this right leg. So we're gonna go into another exercise. Bring your hands down, tuck your toes, and tuck into downward facing dog. And we're gonna work a little bit through twists and the obliques, a little bit like a one-legged mountain climber. So we're gonna roll forward through the spine. I'm gonna bring my right knee forward. I'm gonna take it out to the, to the outside of my elbow, inside of the other elbow. And then I'm going to kick my leg straight back up to the sky again. I gaze down. So I roll forward. My left leg stays dead straight. I bring the knee out, in, and I kick it up again. Now, if that's not for you, you can bring your body weight forward, drop that knee, then take it out, then pull it into the center, then kick it out and see if you can lift yourself back up again. Yeah? Take it through your own pace and your own time. Do A to B, roll forward. Kick it up. You don't need to rush it. Nothing needs to be rushed. Time under tension. My tuck theory is key. The muscles have to work harder, slowing it down with the Pilates. That's what we're aiming to do. One more, please. Big one forward. Keep that right leg pulled in, left leg straight. Lift it up high, and on this one, look forward and swing it through, and let's take it into pigeon. A pigeon stretch, a fabulous open through the buttocks. This is a very stretched session, so enjoy this one. It's one that we stay in here for a good minute. So my right knee is going to go more to the outside edge of my right mat. I'm going to slide the foot a little bit further up, so that when I come up onto my hips, it sits underneath my left hip bone. And I'm going to raise and lift my chest up to start with. Once you've found your stretch, so you might want to take your back leg a little bit further back, then drop down to your elbows and relax down into it. Now, we're going to take this um, up a level. So we're going to take it into rotation. And this is where some people kind of fall over. So this is very easy to fall over into your left side. And if you do, you need to bring yourself back up and start again. So my right arm extends, my left arm swoops up to the left. I'm going to squeeze and lift up. And then I'm going to float under. I'm going to take that arm underneath. And if you can drop your head down to the floor, look underneath, do so. I think I'm going to fall. So I'm going to stay here. So my right arm is active and I'm twisting my left arm underneath my right, but my hip bone. I'm not falling to the left, I'm staying upright. And that's half the challenge. Now, this is not for you at all, and pigeon's not for you. Sit into your seated hurdle. And then once you've found your stretch, you can just reach the arm away. So if you look at that leg, reach the arm underneath, and you'll find that little twist into the shoulder blade. So I've kind of just taken the shin and I've lined it up and I've reached the arm. I'm leaning into my right arm and I'm turning. So wherever you are, give me one more deep breath. Slowly take that hand back out, lift up. And then sit down into your bottom and swing your legs around. So we're going to come back around to that left side in a bit. Um, sorry, legs out straight. Straight, straight out in front of you. 
Bring your hands behind you, sit tall. Then take your arms in front. We're going to slowly sink through the lower abs and roll down to the floor. Take your arms over, stretch your arms behind. Lift your left leg, lift your right leg. Pause here. We're going to drop the left leg and we're going to cross them over and drop the right leg. Cross, drop. Cross, drop. One more. Lift the right leg up. If you can lower both to the floor together, do so, or one at a time. Bring your fingertips to the sky. And then inhale, chin to chest, roll up. Lift and lengthen up tall. Sink back down. Scoop the belly in slowly, 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 slowly. Arms come up and overhead. If you need more stability, please set your arms down by your side. Right leg followed by left leg. Point the toes, straighten the knees. We drop down, we swap. Two, three, four, five, three more, six, seven, and eight. Lift that leg up to join. If you can, drop both legs down together. Bring your arms in front of your shoulders. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, roll it up and lift the spine. Up, 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 up high. Then flip your arms forward, scoop the belly in, roll it down. We're going to do two more rounds of this. Arms overhead or down by your side. Lift one leg or both legs together up towards the ceiling. We drop one leg up and we swap. Eight, seven. Come on, push deep into those lower abs. We don't want to feel those backs flying off the ground. You reduce your range to there. You can reduce your range to there if you wish. Two and one, legs up together, one by one or both legs, lower down. Just bring your arms in front of your shoulders, inhale, chin to chest, exhale, roll up, peel yourself up, lift and lengthen. We're going to do that one more time. Scoop the belly in, roll it down. Slowly, 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 slowly. Arms overhead or down by your side. Lift those legs to the sky, straighten out the knee, point the toes. Now, grip in through that lower back. And when you're ready, we swoop. One, two, three. Remember, you can be up here, four, but try and keep those legs as straight as possible. Six, seven, one more, and eight. Legs to the sky and drop them to the floor. Inhale, fingertips above shoulders, roll the chin to the chest. Exhale, peel yourself up. Lift and lengthen, swing the arms down and push your chest forward, shoulders back. Just relax through the body, relax the legs. And we're going to do some rotations whilst we're here. So you can have your legs bent or you can have your uh, legs straight, bent or straight, up to you. So I'm going to have mine bent to begin with, to take some of the pressure off my hip flexors. And I'm just going to lift and lengthen to start with. We're going to do arm circles with the wrist rotation. So we're going to sweep our arms forward, sit tall, scoot the belly in. My right arm is going to come down, open out, come all the way back and forward. My left arm sweeps down, I follow the range, sweep it all the way up, and you end up here. So we're sweeping down, Reaching forward. So I'm getting spinal extension, flexion, then rotation, and you're getting full circumduction of the shoulder. There's the technical word for you. So basically, a lot going on. Just really work gracefully. Reach as far away as you can go. We're going to go one more each side. One more to the left. Then reach up tall. Scoot back. Pause where you feel your abs are fired up. Keep your spine beautifully soft. I'm squeezing my thigh. Inhale, swoop down. Exhale, over for eight. Inhale, exhale, seven. 
six, come on, keep going, five, squeeze those thighs, four, three, come on, scoot that belly in, one more, one more, one more, and then we lift up, we lengthen, we flex our feet, we catch our feet, we extend the spine, cab stretch, and then we straighten those legs and sit down, take a hamstring stretch. 30 seconds, just breathing into this. Always have that option to do a little bend and extend of the knees. If you're particularly tight in your hamstrings, this is a great way to, just to loosen them up. Give a little helping hand. So give me another two long deep breaths. Go further. And then we slowly and softly raise up, hands behind, sit tall. So we're gonna come back and do the other side. So let's flip our feet behind, back onto our hands and knees, right where we were about 10, 15 minutes ago. So we are staying on hands and knees to begin with. We're going to take our left, uh, sorry, our right leg and left arm forward. And we're going to scoop under on the exhalation. Then we inhale, lengthen and reach. Exhale, tuck it all under, scoop in. Inhale, reach. Now remember, if you're feeling unstable, you tuck your toes under on that left foot. If it's not for you, you can do the leg on its own. Reaching out, curling under. Then return it, reach the arm, scoop the spine, you pull the elbow into the navel and lengthen away and so on. Or keep going, four more. And reach. Two more. Last one, scoop in and pause, hold, 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 suck the belly in, arch that spine, then we reach away, lengthen, and let's pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, make sure you're not dipping that lower back, and release, take the pressure off, drop to the elbows. Now we're going to stay on our right elbow, take our left hand out to the side, and then we're going to take our left leg up and behind. This leg is going to swoop up, come all the way around the outside of my left hip and tap the ground, lift all the way back up and tap behind for one. So remember, you can take the load off if your body really doesn't like this. You can lift the knee, open it out, bring it all the way down, then lift it back up the other way, sweep it all the way around. Yes, yeah? so that's your other, that's your alternative. You have to be really fixed in through the core. You have to allow that movement through the hips. So I want you to feel your abs controlling this move. Keep it going, come on. Your right buttock will be feeling the pressure. Five more. Arms need to be strong and engaged. Last three. Last two. Give me one more lift. Open, drop, pause for a quick breath. Engage those abs, lift that leg and let's pulse it. 10, get as high as you can go. Eight, seven, six, reach it. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it to the ground. Slide it away. Take your right knee, part further away and turn your toes out. Then drop down to both elbows. Pin the outside edge of your left foot into the ground and push the hips back and down, allowing your spine to stay extended and your shoulders are relaxed. And just move through your breath, going a little bit deeper every time. 
You exhale, sinking back a little bit more. Doing that deep stretch in the inner thighs, groin. Give me another two breaths here. So to come out of this, we come back up onto our hands, lean into the right leg, pull the left knee in, slide your hands down and stretch out your wrist, drop your head and chest down, or curl into a little ball, or stay here and just arch the back. Free the legs. And then push yourself up onto your hands, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. So here we are again, have a little walk through. Remember the tailbone is the point of the triangle. You're extending and lengthening out through the chest, the arms, and the legs, heels to the floor. Melt your chest down. Raise your left leg up behind you. This time, your right knee stays dead straight. We roll to the tip, tip to the toes. We pull the knee out and under and kick it all the way back up. Slowly move forward to plank. Knee to the outside, knee to the inside. Kick it back up. Option to make it easier. Roll forward, drop to the knee. Pull to the outside, pull to the middle. And then if you can keep that leg out, tuck your toes under and kick it back up again. Okay, and that's actually a challenge within itself because you have to lift your body weight up with one leg. So everything needs to be a challenge. Don't be afraid to work hard as long as you're controlling the movement. <clears throat> Three more of these. And use the opportunity to kick your leg up behind you to stretch into that right hamstring and calf. Right, I'm going to do one more. Then kick up behind, take a long deep breath here, look forward and swing the leg into pigeon. So I like doing the other side. My left knee's going right over to the outside of the left the side of my mat and then the foot's going to the right and then I'm sitting equally up on my hip bones so with my right leg extended as back behind as possible and then I'm going to lift the chest pull the shoulders back come down into your um your stretch to begin with if that's not for you hurdle sit down into the buttock bend the knees grab hold of this front foot and then ease your weight over and it just takes all the pressure off your joints So like on the other side, we're going to take this into a twist. So when you're ready, lift up, extend your left arm, then open your right arm out. So turn the body, rotate the opposite way, squeeze the shoulder blade. Then we scoop that arm under. We reach, 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 reach. Ideally head to the floor. Mine doesn't quite go there, so I'm going to rest it on my opposite hand. Or I'm just going to hold it here, lengthen this left arm and just feel that rotation, but don't drop into your right hip bone. It's so easy just to fall over, believe it or not. So if you're there, great, breathe into it. If you're in this position, again, left arm is out and just feed the right arm under and, and drop down into the shoulder. So wherever you are, two more really deep breaths. And slide the arm out, sit up tall, and then sit down into your bottom and swing those legs back round in front of you. Good, slide your hands into the shins and lift tall. So we are going to go straight back into those arm rotations, but we're going to do them the opposite way this time. So whether you had your legs bent or your legs straight, choose what works for you. I have my mine slightly bent, so I'm keeping bent. Sit up tall, arms forward. So we sweep, we did the swoop down and up and over. So we're doing the sweep up and around and down. So we inhale to begin, exhale, draw a little soft spine, drop down, lift the right arm up, swoop it all the way back and down and return it. We lengthen. 
Drop down, lift up, swoop to the left, and return. Just keep thinking up, around, and down. Up, around, follow the hand if you can, especially on that rotation down. It helps your whole body turn. Seven, got six more to do. Sit up tall at the top, soften your spine on that swoop. If you want more in the abs, you just drop lower in the abs and reach even further through that arm as you drop. Now we've got two more left to do. Last one. And then reach and lengthen, pause. If you need a quick break, you stay here and lift. Otherwise, we stop, we drop down. And we inhale, raise the arm. Exhale, behind for one. So we did down and up, now we're doing up and down. Two, three, come on, reach. Four, we've got four more. Scoop that belly in, stop on that spine. Three. Two and one. Roll it up. Hold on to your shins. Lift your spine tall. Flex your feet. Catch them. Lift and lengthen. And let's go back into that hamstring stretch. Drop down. Should be a little bit easier second time around. Bow your head. Bow your chin. Bow your chest. Relax the shoulders. Use a bend of the elbow to get deep into the stretch. Take one more breath. Roll up through the spine. Lean into your hands and lift your chest. Look how to stretch. We're gonna lift up tall, take our arms forward, softly scoop down towards the floor. We take hold of our hands, we interlace our fingers with a full body stretch, putting our toes up, pushing our heels away. Then open your arms out to a T-shape, lift both your knees in and carefully drop your knees to the right. Once they hit the floor, extend your top leg, catch it and stretch out through that hamstring. Enjoy that rotation. Now that should feel nice and easy because those hamstrings just have a good stretch. But now we're going to stretch them with that rotation. That underneath leg, just push the leg away a little bit. Put the sole of the foot of your top leg, so it's wedged on the thigh of the opposite leg, and use your hand to open the knee to the sky. And release, set the leg, engage your abs, roll the knees back up to the middle, carefully just stall in the center, and then that we can drop over to the left. Once they hit the floor, pause for a breath. Then take that top leg and extend it, stretch the hamstring. Really breathe, use that hand, extend the knee. And then that bottom leg, just slide it down a little bit. Hit the sole of the foot of that top leg, wedge it on the floor. Use the hand to open the knee to the sky. Stay in this rotation. Just breathe. Don't carry any tension at all. Just let the stretch occur. One more breath. And ease off the legs, stack the legs, roll those legs back up to the center, part the knee, catch hold of the legs, and just draw the thighs in towards your armpits. Stretch open through the hip flexors. 
So again, I'm being quite forceful with my arms. I'm putting my thighs down. I'm aiming my knees to my armpits and my feet wide. And I'm just feeling a little bit of resistance as I draw my tailbone closer down towards the floor, but then using my arms to force the thighs further in towards my shoulders. So there's a little bit of resistance there. And then just gently release the knees back to the other side, your hands behind your thighs, roll up, and for the last time, flip your feet around onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your knees up and set down the facing door, melt down. You should feel nice and easy now. And walk your feet in a little bit, walk your hands in a little bit, and just let your body relax. Soften the knees if you need to, if you tighten those hamstrings, interlace your fingers behind your back and stretch open the shoulders. Just bring them over as far as they have to go. One more breath. Gently pulling your hands at the base of your spine. Let your arms drop down. Either begin to roll up through your spine or slide your hands to the tops of your knees. Use your arms to carefully stack that spine one by one. Close your eyes again if you can. As you roll up, your chin stays low. Begin to lengthen out through the knees, standing firmly on both feet. Chin comes up and you roll those shoulders a few times at the top. And then stand tall, open your palms. And then inhale, raise the arms up, slowly, 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 slowly up to the sky. And then softly bring your hands together, do yourself a big forward, lovely tabletop bow. Engage those abs and release and give yourselves a little cup. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day.